Hi, I'm Greater Rochester Chamber of Commerce Communications Director Dan Smith here with our CEO, Bob Duffy. Rochester Chamber Top 100 is coming up November 6th. It's the biggest business celebration in the Rochester and Finger Lakes region. Think back from your memories, even before you were Chamber CEO, how this event has evolved over the years. I think I've come to countless uh, Top 100 events, uh, lunches and now dinners over the years. Uh, each one has been huge, but uh, I want to give uh, my teammate Susan George credit for growing this over the years. It, last year, I think we had close to 2,000 people. It is the biggest business party of the year. And the greatest thing, it highlights success in this area. These are the top 100 companies, the fastest growing companies in this region, based on their revenues over the last three years. So the, from startups to established companies, uh, you're seeing growth. And all that money, all that economic strength really is coming right back to this region. So it's a great thing to celebrate, great way to highlight. And we highlight established companies. We highlight uh, brand new startups. Uh, and every year I've gone, I've been so impressed. But uh, I would urge people to come out again this year, November 6th. It is going to be a party, a great celebration. And it's a cause really for this whole region to celebrate. And again, the, the Rochester Chamber Top 100 is the 100 fastest growing privately owned companies in the Rochester and Finger Lakes region based upon uh, percentage and dollar revenue. That, that gives a fair chance for big companies to compete against small companies. It does, and I think sometimes there's confusion. It's not the largest companies, the top biggest companies. They don't change that much year to year, our, our biggest employers. This is really a, a playing field where every company can compete. The revenues are judged over the last three years. KPMG uh, independently assesses those revenues, so we don't get involved with that personally. Uh, but everybody has a fair chance and it really highlights those companies and growth. And sometimes uh, companies that have been around for 40, 50, or 100 years still are doing very, very well, still growing. And those that maybe started three or four years ago are hitting it. Uh, but I love to get there, it, it, to feel the energy, the vibe in the room, to listen to the CEOs uh, talk so proudly of their teams and to listen and, and hear all the, their teammates and employees out there celebrating their success. And when you think of the economic uh, fabric of Rochester and his region, so much of it comes back to these companies, and they are growing uh, year by year, and we urge everybody, if you care to come in uh, in future years, please sign up and compete. We have well over 200 uh, competing, so it's, it's a pretty, pretty tough competition. Uh, so those that don't make it sometimes are upset, but uh, it is really based on those revenues, as you mentioned, Dan, over the last three years, uh, and it highlights growth and success. Now, uh, with the Top 100 comes some, some data that we can use to give a little economic snapshot of the region. And this year, construction businesses were the largest representative, actually taking the five of the top ten slots this year. What do you make from that, that the construction has risen this year? The mere fact construction has risen, I think, is a great sign for this region. Uh, whenever you hear people say they want to see cranes in the air for success, that, that's an indicator. When you see construction happening, and I drive throughout this city and this region every day and every week. I'm seeing projects everywhere. It's at a point where I think a lot of the companies have a hard time getting workers because the, the pool is, is growing, but so are the jobs and the opportunities. We've had some great projects funded privately and publicly, a lot of growth, a lot of things happening. People should be proud of Rochester and really our surrounding counties. Uh, but when construction is on the rise and we look at construction and the real estate industry, areas like that, it just tells you it's growing. And sometimes you'll hear, uh, you know, the negative bluebirds about the region. I'm the eternal optimist, number one. But number two, when you drive around and see what is happening, it is exciting. And I think we're seeing a transformation before our very eyes. And again, the Rochester Chamber Top 100, the biggest business celebration uh, of the year. Uh, but it's not just for the 100 companies being honored. Who should come to this celebration and why? Everybody should come. First of all, uh, if you have a stake in this region, you should come. And, and a lot of these companies are supported by banks, professional uh, services, all kinds of other employers. You know, it really is our ecosystem that, that is on, on display here. And so uh, they come and if you are an existing business and you may have a client or a partner being honored, come and help them celebrate. If you're brand new, maybe if you have a startup, you're in an incubator down the street here, and you think, how do I get in the top 100? Come and come in and sit and listen and watch, uh, and I guarantee you, you'll be inspired. When you see the videos, you see the energy in the room, and just see the atmosphere, uh, the glass is more than half full at the top 100. And I guess it's, it really is for everybody. And I will tell you, uh, throughout different jobs that I've had, I have been almost every year, I don't think I've missed one, uh, and they were lunches at one time. We moved them to dinners a few years ago, uh, working with Susan George on this, because uh, lunches, people had to go back to work. At dinner, they stay, and they bring their kids and their families, because at lunch, you can't take your kids out of work. So 
the entire families are there, and there's no hurry back, rushing back to work in the afternoon. And I'll tell you what, uh, it is a party. You think it's New Year's Eve when you're there. So I would urge anybody, come if you're part of it. Come and celebrate your teammates, uh, celebrate our economy. Uh, government officials, public officials, bankers, all those that really help benefit from this economic growth, come and see this. School students, college students that are thinking of having your own business someday, as so many do, uh, come, be inspired, and maybe make a connection or a relationship with somebody at this event uh, that I think will help you in the future. Yeah, it is a great networking opportunity and, again, a great celebration. The Rochester yes. Chamber Top 100 Awards Dinner, November 6th at the Riverside Convention Center. Go to greaterrochesterchamber.com for tickets. We want to see you there.